bound to appear that X-Men seem to be just a door away from the MCU, and Marvel's plan seems to be working to bring some of the members separately and uniting them against the threat to come. I know, right? Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? With some mutants maybe already part of the MCU, it's only a matter of time before we get a cameo or an easter egg in the upcoming projects from MCU's Phase 4. Introduction Ever since Marvel, or more precisely, Disney acquired the rights to Fox's X-Men, we knew that they're bound to make an appearance on the big screen, this time as part of the MCU. However, despite the long-awaited acquisition, it seems like Marvel are not in a hurry to bring one of the biggest families to the MCU just yet. And we'll take a look just why that is. Before we continue, we should mention that there will be spoilers up ahead from the recent movies and TV shows that Marvel Studios released, and the ones confirmed to release in the upcoming year or two, and with that out of the way, let us continue. In March 2019, Disney finally completed the agreement for the X-Men with the rights to the X-Men and the Fantastic Four falling in Marvel Studios' pocket. Goodbye, Ben. I can't let you do that. The X-Men are coming, there's no doubt about it, but even though almost three years have passed, there have been no clues or hints as to when a movie featuring one or more members of the X-Men might make an appearance. That is, up until now, a time when we might have some clue as to when and who might be making their debut in the MCU. But more on that a little bit later. One of the recent reports that surfaced to the public eye is the rumor of Marvel Studios already working on a project called The Mutants, but it appears to be in the earliest stages of development, as there are no plot details, writers, directors, or even cast members while we're at that too. What's the interesting part is that the movie might not even introduce the X-Men as a team, maybe some members from the comics, mutants we're familiar with. Nevertheless, that project is a long way off, so we'll stick to what is in front of us and what we can expect from the upcoming movies and TV shows in the next two years, which we think will be crucial to Marvel's plan of the introduction of the mutants to the MCU, and how they plan to do it. Marvel's Plan The introduction of mutants to the MCU has been on everyone's minds ever since the acquisition of them happened. The Fantastic Four movie, as we said before, has already been confirmed of coming, and we think it'll be that movie that will end Phase 4 of the MCU which will mark the official statement that there are mutants among us and will serve as a prequel to Phase 5, the time in the MCU that we think will be taken over by the X-Men. It would be the perfect time for them as well, right? With Phase 4 focusing more on the cosmic side of things and a lot of questions unanswered, it seems that Phase 4 will serve as the perfect time for the introduction of the mutants to the MCU, with the process looking similar to how the Avengers came together, mutants getting introduced one by one, and then all of them coming together to fight the greater evil, one which could come in Phase 5 of the MCU, a time when the X-Men would be formed as a team, the big family we know them to be. The idea of the X-Men and mutants being part of the MCU might seem preposterous to some, but the Eternals movie proved just how easy this concept is to accomplish. The movie revealed that nearly a dozen Eternals have been living on Earth for 7,000 years, helping humanity in various ways. This concept not only told us how the Eternals could only interfere when Deviants-related problems happen, but it also showed how easily Marvel can incorporate the X-Men as part of the MCU, with some of them probably living among the other characters of the MCU for quite a while now, just not revealing themselves to the public. And while the movie showed just how easy it is to put the X-Men in its past, it can also be seen how it might be better for the MCU to build up mutants individually and at a slower pace which we think will be the case, just like what happened with the Avengers team and members of the original team like Wolverine, Jean Grey, Professor X, Storm, can serve as the perfect building blocks which would lead us to the first X-Men movie, hopefully. This way of introduction of the mutants might also make way for Marvel in establishing the first mutant villain, whether it would be Mr. Sinister, Magneto, or someone else in any case, why to fix something when it's not broken which we think will go to show that the slow and steady introduction to individual members of the X-Men could be the name of the game for Marvel Studios and the MCU. And while we're here, we might have some theories as to where the MCU might start, so bear with us. X-Men in the MCU With the whole process of introduction in our mind, we try to find some bits and pieces as to which mutants we might get to see making their debut in the MCU as part of an upcoming movie or TV show. All these old guys on the wall. Who lives here, Callista Flockhart? One that comes to mind is Ilyana Rasputin, aka Magic, the younger sister of Colossus. Yes, I killed 18 men, one by one, with my sword. 
It has been confirmed that Miss America would be introduced in the upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. She's part of the first teaser trailer as well. And judging from the connection between the two, we might see Magic making a cameo of sorts, with her not serving a bigger role because of America Chavez, with her role being somewhat along the line of how Hawkeye made an appearance in the first Thor movie. Next up, we have Rogue, or Anna Marie, with her story of the run-in with Avengers and Carol Danvers serving as her way to come to the MCU in the upcoming The Marvels movie, where she could absorb so much of Captain Marvel's power that she gets deep power to fit the MCU properly, just like what happened in the comics. This could go on to be the reason why Carol Danvers will need to call upon Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, and Monica Rambeau, aka Photon, with the two already confirmed to be part of the movie. Everyone should know Aurora Monroe, better known as Storm, and with her life in the comics seeing her travel to Tanzania and Kenya, two countries located north of Wakanda, could see her make a cameo in the upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie. And if Atlantis is involved as expected in the movie, an ally who can control the weather might be just what the people of Wakanda need. And last but not the least, we have Franklin Richards, which will probably be linked to the Fantastic Four movie as son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm, who we think will be the last of the big names to get introduced in Phase 4 of the MCU. One leak which is said to be canon is that Professor X might be coming to the MCU before any of the other mutants. And we would all like this to be true, because who else than Charles to be the one to start it all, right? And I intend to fight it. And I will always be there. As to how, well, some rumors say that Wanda will probably be one of the villains of the Doctor Strange sequel, with Professor X coming in to help Doctor Strange in defeating Wanda Maximoff and release all of the dark thoughts from her mind, making her whole again. And we know that Charles Xavier has that kind of power to say the least. One other option, which would be the simplest one to introduce the mutants, would be the opposite of what happened in the comics, with Scarlet Witch instead of saying the word no more mutants and erasing almost all mutants from existence, in the MCU she could simply say more mutants and bring some right away. No more mutants. But this last one is just wishful thinking, however, considering crazier things have happened so far, we'll never know. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the theories about who could be coming to the MCU first and which way would you go about bringing the X-Men to the MCU. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.